Falling Walls Lab Ghana 2024 was organized by the German Academic Exchange Service Information Center, Accra, in partnership with Startup Launch Africa and supported by the Federal Foreign Office of Germany. This year's event was held at the University of Ghana. The prestigious business contest gathered brilliant entrepreneurs and innovators who are recent graduates or current students in tertiary institutions across the country. The event featured a series of three-minute pitches from participants, each presenting groundbreaking research, business models, and initiatives aimed at solving global challenges. The aim was to identify the most promising ideas that could potentially break the walls of existing knowledge and practices. In a small community not far from Tamale, Mr. Abdullahi, a smallholder farmer who owned three acres of land, tells and tells the land with so much joy. He plants maize, cowpea and granites, but immediately the harvest season comes around, all his joy goes away. Why? Post harvest losses. Farmers worked so hard but are still poor. Why is this happening in Ghana and in Africa? It is estimated that the total grain production in Africa is 206 million tons, but a whooping 82.4 million tons goes to waste, which is 40% of this. And why is this happening? Because our farmers lack access to more grain drying technology. This affects the quality of the grains and seeds. It affects sales and eventually income, which leads to food insecurity, poverty and hunger. At the end of the pitches, Vanessa Dodu from the University for Development Studies, Tamale, emerged as winner of the contest. She was recognized for her exceptional project aimed at reducing post-harvest loss, a significant issue in agriculture in Ghana through a solar-powered mechanized drying machine which significantly reduces drying time for food crops, especially grains. She would represent Ghana at the Global Falling Walls Lab contest in Berlin in November 2024. I'm just so surprised because I just took a chance. I, I, I really struggle with communication. And so I applied for the Falling Walls like on behalf of my company, hoping that uh, the best presenter amongst us can come and pitch. But yesterday I came from, I'm, <laughs> I'm coming all the way from Borga. I came from a leadership conference and, and the, what I took from there was that there, uh, someone placed on the page that um, even if you are not perfect at doing something, just show up anyway. So I sat in the car from Borga and I was coming here. I didn't know what to expect. I at the back because I was so afraid that, oh, they will not call my name. <laughs> But thank you so much. I'm really happy. I, 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 like, I need all the help and the support to make Ghana proud in Berlin. Thank you so much. The second place was grabbed by Abdul Wahab Ibrahim, also from the University for Development Studies, Tamale. He pitched his innovative work on EcoCop Bioplast, a sustainable alternative to conventional plastics using degradable materials. Wisdom, Tokonu Bwedu from Freshline Post Harvest Solutions took the third place for his work on a solution to address post harvest losses by producing tomato powder and other organic ways of preserving foodstuff. The Deputy German Ambassador to Ghana, Ms. Savine Johnson, highlighted the importance of fostering innovation and supporting young talent. She praised the participants for their ingenuity and the positive impact their projects could have on society. Um, I know that you all already had a really long day here um, and now we have our really well-deserved winner so I don't want to keep you that much longer but I wanted to say a few words about this competition and why it is very close to, to our heart. Um, the name Falling Walls Lab doesn't come from anywhere and the date also when it's happening in Berlin is also not by chance. So in as probably many of you know, um, Germany was divided for many decades, literally with a wall running through the country that you were not able to cross. Um, and this wall between Germany and back then the Soviet Union, it came down on 9th of November 1989. And this was 
a result actually of people's protest. So it was really a movement that was driven by the people and nobody thought that the Cold War era between the West and the Soviet Union would just end in a peaceful way. And this is quite a miracle in history. It is also, it's marking our national day, um, the reunification of Germany. And why we celebrate this occasion in history so much is because it was yeah, peaceful, enormous change that shaped the whole world order in a new way that was driven by the people. So this is also why we have the name for this conference, Falling Walls Lab, because what we are looking for is positive change coming from the people. Mr. Felix Barnes, the program's officer at the German Academic Exchange Service in Accra, spoke to Truth TV. Falling Walls Lab is a competition which was founded by Falling Walls Foundation. Falling Walls Foundation came up um, just because of the fall of the Berlin Wall. And so with that concept, the organization was formed. And one of the biggest things is to introduce the Falling Walls Lab conference uh, to help um, see inspiring um, or great ideas from everybody. So be it science, engineering, any innovative idea, or even in um, social sciences and so on, you are all invited to present your idea in the Fallen Walls Lab. And the competition started in Berlin since 2011. In Ghana, we started since 2016. I think it was only 2022 that we didn't hold one. And so far, so good. We've had very inspiring ideas coming up. In fact, this year is one of the biggest years where we had uh, over 100 um, registrations or uh, interest. And in the end, we scaled down to 22. And today, um, 18 were able to present. I think uh, one or two of them couldn't come, but about 18 of them were able to present. The Falling Walls Lab Ghana 2024 event not only showcased the exceptional talent and creativity within the country, but also reinforced the importance of innovation in addressing global challenges. Conrad Kakraba, Truth TV News, Accra.